Hello to all the co-founder community founders out there. My name is Keith, and this, of course, is the Startup Sales Mastery video podcast. And you can see I'm in my T-shirt, so I am in prospecting form today. I'm doing a lot of prospecting today, and that, of course, is our topic. We're talking about outbound campaigns. Outbound campaigns are when we actually go out and we get our customers. Yesterday, we went through inbound, the marketing end of things, which I know how to do, but outbound is really for my money where it's all about. So if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you have a startup or you're a startup entrepreneur, or you're an entrepreneur of some description. If you're not, okay, enjoy, listen, learn something great. If you are, let me tell you guys how we actually do this kind of stuff. So outbound, uh, as I said, it's uh, commonly referred to as prospecting in our industry is simply just that, going out. I'm talking about picking up the phone and calling your prospects. I'm talking about going to their place of business, knocking on the door. Hello, Mr. Prospect, how are you? You're never going to guess what I have. Now, people are saying, how do we start? How do we do things? This is the simple pitch that I help people prepare. That is the startup sales mastery course or program or step-by-step -step guide or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's my way of helping you work through what you have to actually creating the perfect elevator pitch for the perfect customer who has the perfect uh, problem for you to solve. And I have a very, very simple step-by-step -step guide for you all to do it. So before you think what I'm saying can't be done by you, I'm just letting you know, startupsalesmastery.com, click on the link. I even give you the first main part for free. It's all there. It's really easy for you to follow. And in 30 minutes, you can pretty much have 50% of everything you need already done and finished. And that's free. Okay, now that the fantastic sales pitch is over, let's go back to the point here. So cold calling, of course, is the first thing that I'm going to discuss because that is the core of all sales, especially in the tech world. A lot of tech entrepreneurs don't like to do this. They like to spend a lot of money on, you know, advertising and, and pay-per-click, uh, you know, time, effort, and energy in building groups and building communities and, you know, going to conferences and free tickets and all this. And that's fine. That's actually good. I like all of that. However, the first thing you need to do, especially as a new entrepreneur, is have communication with your prospects with your potential customers to actually find out, okay, what exactly do they want to hear? Not what market research I've done, but I want to speak to them myself. How do they respond to this? How do they respond to that? And I want to do this cheap, effectively, and fast. Those three things, especially if I'm a new entrepreneur, new startup, we all have telephones and it's really quite simple. Online, everybody's phone number is basically there maybe directly, maybe indirectly. LinkedIn, of course, is a wonderful resource. LinkedIn applications such as Lucia. If you go on uh, prospect.io and uh, data miners, and there's all these tools. I'm not going to go into the tools here. Ask me in the comments or in the Facebook group. I help all the Startup Sales uh, Mastery members in the members area. I'll do the research and I'll get you the perfect tool. There's so many tools. That's why I can't go into them here, but there's lots of them. So actually using you know, if your prospects were on LinkedIn, it's really easy to make a list of a hundred or a thousand people. If you can just tell LinkedIn the parameters of your customer persona, same with Facebook. Let's say in Facebook, we're going after local businesses. It's really easy to run a search and see all the pages in your demographic and then literally go through them one by one by one. And you're going to notice that the name of the store, the name of the owner and the phone number, it's all going to be there. The email is there too, but again, we're talking about real outbound. Uh, I'll get to uh, email marketing in a bit. So building up lists like that, going on YouTube, uh, going on Google and literally typing stuff in, looking for companies, companies' names. Maybe you'll have to go through receptionist, hospitals, healthcare. The list goes on. People are there. WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, and then go through all the members one by one, check out their profile, find the name of their company, research the name of the company, usually www. Uh, get the phone number, give them a call. Getting the numbers is easy. I don't want you to think it's difficult. And then once you actually have the numbers, it's uh, simply a question of actually picking up the phone. What do you say? Well, 
I can help you piece it together. If you want to go to Startup Sales Mastery, or somebody else can, or you can try winging it. Uh, but just having it all prepared, of course, is critical. And it's a numbers game at the end of the day. The more people you speak to, the higher probability of getting your product sold. And worst case scenario, you speak to a thousand people and you find out why they don't want your product, then you can pivot and then you can blast on. There is absolutely nothing more effective in the world today for startups, early stage startups, getting started. You don't have the big brand. You don't have the big budgets and finance. This is really the way to start it. Other outbound direct prospecting is face to face. I'm talking about turning up to people's businesses, offices, you know, walking into offices saying, hello, I'm in WeWork at the moment. Now I stroll around WeWork all the time saying hi to people. I just walk up to them. Hi, how are you? My name is Boom. And I go ahead. What do you do? And I've already told them and I've already pitched them. So that's something you can do. I don't know what your specific industry demographic may be. Uh, we can go up to uh, meetups, to events, things like that. Same procedure, walking up to people saying hello. Uh, conventions is another one. You can literally go to these paid conventions. Of course, everything's closed right now with the corona, but that's only going to last a little bit longer. Then we'll get back up and running. And yeah, if I were to turn up to a place with thousands of entrepreneurs wearing this, walking up to people, maybe the uh, event people may have a problem with this. We're not discussing politics right now, but the point is, is that I can go straight up to people, say hi. And if I speak to, you know, a hundred people, the probability is if I have a good product with uh, solving a good uh, pain point for a good proper customer persona, like really one in 10 should want to have what I have, or at least to have a follow-up conversation with me. This is outbound. I don't really think I, I, I have any need to confuse you anymore. There is email outbound. This is email marketing where we do the same procedure as before uh, and email people. We can buy lists. We can get them like that. The only problem is this is also known as spam. And I don't know the rules internationally on spam, but I know GDPR is a big thing. Uh, I've actually made a lot of money with spam emails before working with my marketing team. We've spammed, I think we spammed 500 uh, on a previous client, that was it, just 500, four different uh, mailers. And I ended up getting two clients over 10,000 each dollars. So yeah, that was rather successful. I've done other campaigns where I've gotten absolutely nothing. So I don't really know what to say. It's not my area of speciality, but that option exists. As a salesperson, as far as I'm concerned, cold calling and knocking on doors, turning up, getting in front of people's faces are the absolute best way. You're an early stage entrepreneur. You don't have the huge thing. What you do have is yourself and your experience and knowledge. They start grilling you on questions. You can answer those questions. All of a sudden, you are an expert in your field. You know your industry. You know their problem. You know how to solve their problem. And very often, that's what people want. They want to do business with people that they can know and trust. And they'll have shaken your hand. They'll have seen you. And they'll know that you can solve your problem. Outbound, definitely, definitely the way to go. I do a lot of outbound these days and I'm gonna be sharing a few videos, only a few videos with uh, everybody. I'll post them on Facebook and on YouTube. If you want, let me know and I'll show you where you can get the full collection. I have hours and hours of co calls that I do all the time. And I share that, of course, with the Startup Sales Mastery members. And yes, we charge a whole, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? $47. Yes, I got the whole thing at 47. It was $500 and I just sort of brought it down to 47 just because look, at the end of the day, I want to get you in. I want to get your you know, machine working and then I am available. My team is available to help you do your sales, help you do your lead gen. But the most important thing, guys, go through your actual product your solution, your customers, get the foundations right, then do some outbound campaigns or inbound, but do some campaigns and actually test that, make sure it works. And once you see the machine is working, scale the ever loving shit out of it. And, uh, you know, go get hundreds of millions in funding and, uh, you know, join the unicorn club. That is what we're all here for. My name is Keith. This is the Startup Sales Mastery video podcast. We are sponsors of Co-Founder Club and I'm pointing in the wrong direction. But anyway, I will see you all tomorrow for more fun and games. Good luck. Enjoy and go make some money.